Hello my beautiful friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ash Freeman and today we're going to be moving through a full body 20 minute Pilates inspired workout together. So this workout is for everybody however I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant myself so it has been designed with pregnant bodies in mind. In saying that you all know your body's best so please please take breaks modify whenever and however you need and if you are pregnant today making sure that you have your trusted healthcare providers permission to be partaking in a workout today this goes for everybody but especially my pregnant friends out there just making sure that you're exercising in a cool environment so you're not going to get overheated that you have some water nearby so that you can stay nice and hydrated and also just to watch your breathing so watch that you're not getting out of breath or too puffed you should be able to maintain a level of conversation if somebody was to speak to you so just keeping all of these things in mind and really looking after yourself the intention of our workout today certainly isn't to be pushing our limits it's just to keep our bodies moving to stay strong to stay healthy and to stay energized throughout pregnancy and beyond all you'll need for today is a nice safe and flat space for your mat as well as a chair um, any chair will do just make sure that it's nice and stable and that it's on a surface that it's not going to slip and slide around so apart from that as always I'm so grateful for your time and to have you here with me today so when you're ready let's get moving all right so we have 20 exercises today we're going to do each one for 40 seconds and take a 20 second break in between when you're ready we're going to start with some wide plie squats you can either do these on your mat legs wide and wide or use the back of your chair for support so getting started in three two, one. We're just going to start by simply coming down and up and down and up. An option to add some arms here as well if you like. And the really beautiful thing about moving with time or timed workouts is that you can go as slow or as fast as feels good in your body today. Now option here to keep adding a pulse at the bottom for two, three and up or just continuing with your up and down. So whichever feels better for you, we've got 10 more seconds. Ooh, little pulse at the bottom. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, 20 seconds rest. Give those legs a little shake. Maybe have a bit of a drink. All right, so our next exercise. Again, you can use the chair for support. We'll be coming down into a squat, feet a little bit closer, coming onto one leg lateral raise of the other leg to the side and then back down and over to the other side so when you're ready let's get started timer is on 40 seconds so again I know balance can start to become a little bit more tricky as the belly starts to grow so use the support of the chair if you need and you'll notice that I am moving a lot slower these days than I used to and that's okay. I encourage you to really just move at a pace that feels good for you as well. We've got 10 more seconds here. Beautiful, keep the chest nice and open. Three, two, one, and rest. Shake out those legs. All right, we're gonna to come to a lunge now. So you'll turn to face away from your chair. Right leg will be forward to begin with. Just turning back to look at our timer. The feet can be a little bit closer, further apart, depending on how your hips are feeling. So when you're ready, we come down and up and down and up. So both hip bones shining forward, shoulders shining forward. And again, this is just at your own pace. And halfway through, we're going to add that pulse. So when you're ready, we stay down, pulse pulse and lift or you just stay with those lunges as they were oh I'm really feeling my thighs I don't know about you guys getting all this standing leg work done at the start three two one 20 seconds give them a little shake out we're going to come over to the other side so left leg will be forward beautiful so again, you can do this with or without the support of your chair. Think of lifting and opening through the heart and the chest. And off we go. Take that back knee down and up. And it just might be really shallow too. You don't have to take the knee all the way down. Just exploring the movement. 
as you know, our bodies change so much in this time. So the way they move changes as well. It's all about listening. Maybe adding that pulse here at the bottom. Beautiful. All right, we've got 10 more seconds to go here. And this is the last of that strong standing leg work. Woo. And three, two, one. Well done, shake it out. All right, let's take some calf raises now. We'll take two feet positions here. The first 20 seconds will be heels together, toes apart, so feet in a V. The second 20 seconds, feet will turn parallel. So when you're ready, again, using support or not, drawing up through the legs, lengthen the spine. It's just a lift and lower in your own time. Beautiful. Just seeing if we can soften the shoulders here. See if you can soften the breath. Standing up nice and tall, legs zipping and drawing up. And let's change the foot position. So feet come parallel and continue. So standing right up onto the balls of the toes, heels lift. Feeling those calves working. Well done, we're gonna work on our arms next in three, two, one, and relax. Legs get a shake out. All right, we're gonna turn our chair around. Again, make sure that it is stable and it's not gonna slip. We're gonna move into some tricep dips. So sitting onto the edge of your chair, hands come to either side of the hips, fingertips facing forward, heart is nice and open. From here, let's go 40 seconds. Little bend of the elbows, and then a press up through the palms, the heels of the hands. So down and up, down and up. Well done, little squeeze of those triceps at the top. Again, you might only do one or two here. Take breaks when you need, you're halfway through. Make sure that you're breathing, that you're not holding the breath at all. I love this exercise, it just always feels like it's really working where it's meant to. Shoulders down, three, two, one. Awesome, well done. Come down onto the ground, shake your arms out. We're gonna to turn to face the chair and this time move into a push up. So I'm gonna keep my knees down, hands come onto the edge of the chair. This is where you need to make sure it's not gonna slip and slide. Lengthen out through the spine. We turn the fingertips in slightly so as we come down, time has started, chest comes to the chair, elbows point out slightly. Beautiful. The closer your knees are in towards the chair, the more comfortable this might feel. The further the knees are back, the more difficult it might be. You could also just do this on the ground if you are feeling like you are up to that today. Otherwise, we've got 10 more seconds. Squeeze the chest at the top. Beautiful, five seconds. Three, two, one, beautiful. All right, little break, push your chair off of your mat. Next exercise, come back into kneeling. Bring the forearms towards each other, palms together. We haven't started yet, but I'll just show you. We're gonna come up to high kneeling. Pulse back, squeeze the shoulder blades for two, and then sit back down. Off we go, up, squeeze the shoulders and the glutes, and down, and two. So feeling the back line of the body working here. Beautiful, three, squeeze, squeeze, and down. So as well as the arms, as you lift those hips up, we feel the glutes and the hamstrings engage slightly. We're over halfway through this exercise and nearly halfway through the whole workout, so well done. So starting to work the back line of the body now. Beautiful, four more seconds. And rest, okay? Give those arms a little bit of a shake. We're gonna to continue to work back line of the body, but come into our bird dog. So we will be on all fours. Option two, just extend legs back one at a time or option to add the arms into that as well. So let's go 40 seconds. You might just start with the legs to find the balance or otherwise if you're feeling it in your own time, 
Know again that there's no rush here. And we can just think of really, really, really lightly and gently just hugging belly and baby towards spine, but nothing intense. It's just that gentle, supported feeling. Beautiful. Point the toes, reach the fingertips. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, shaking out the arms. Let's get into some glute work now. So we're coming into our donkey kicks. You more than likely will have seen this exercise. You can either do it up on the hands or down on the forearms. We're going to be flexing that right foot, heel to sky, knee to mat. So off we go. We're just going to go up and down for 20 seconds first. And then we're going to pulse it out for 20 seconds to finish off. And again, it's just that really light feeling of baby supported. Otherwise, just trying to stay strong through the upper body, not collapsing through the shoulders or the chest if you can. And let's pulse it out. Whew. 10 more seconds here. Heel to sky, flex the foot. We're going to take a little break in four seconds. Three, two, one. Rest, sit back. Shake out your arms, take a few breaths, have a drink, rest, take care of yourself, tune back into the breath. And we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. So left heel to sky this time. And we're officially over halfway. So well done. You are killing it. Off we go. Heel to sky, knee to mat. And again, option to do this up on the hands if you prefer. I prefer down on the forearms. I feel like I can get a little bit more movement and range through the hip. And let's move into those pulses at the top. So squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstring, heel to sky. Make sure you're breathing. Beautiful. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Well done. Again, just soften the shoulders for a moment. We're going to come down into some more glute work. This time, I call them fire hydrants. We're going to be in the same position with the arms, but the knees going to open out to the side and then back down. And we'll do those pulses for the final 20 seconds as well. So off we go. So knee out to the side and in. Side and in. So it can be also really nice here to take the left forearm down Staying up on that right hand, you can just open the hip a little wider. Choice is yours, whatever feels best. Now let's keep the knee open and pulse it out at the top. You might even want to extend that right leg, straighten the right leg and point the toes. Ooh, it really gets into the outer edge of that hip. And we have five more seconds. Stay with me, you are amazing. Three, two, one. And rest. All right, after this one, we're going to be coming off the hands and off the arms. So hold on one more side, opening again to the left. Breathe. Ooh. All right, let's go to the left. So opening knee. And again, we had that option to come down onto the right forearm. That just feels a little bit better in my body, but your body might be completely different. And let's hold it up after the next one. Find those pulses, either with the knee bent or the leg straight. Leg straight is super intense and on another day I might enjoy it. But for today, that's not working in my body. So I'm just going to take a little break like I did and honor where I'm at today and have a break. All right, so now we're just gonna take this next minute or so as a little break to calm down the breath. We can either just move freely for a minute. I'm gonna be taking some cat cows for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna take child's pose for 30 seconds before we come into our laying leg work. So join me if you wish some gentle cat cow and movement through the spine 
and it doesn't have to stay linear here. You might start to just shift the hips and bend the elbows in any way that feels good. But just using this time to slow it down a little. An option to keep moving through your cat cow or if you'd like to join me and come down into child's for about 30 more seconds, by all means, please do for a rest. And we're going to finish off with some side lying leg work. We'll be on our right side first with the left leg on top. So joining me when you're ready. Knees bent, heels together and slightly risen. Off we go. We're going to move into some clams. So open the knee and close. Open and close. Top hand can be down for support if you need. And as you open, just trying not to open the hips to the sky. Keep those hips facing forward. Really press the heels together if you'd like to add a little bit more spice to this one. Beautiful, we've got 10 more seconds. Just breathe and enjoy <laughs> if you can and rest. So the bottom knee is going to be bent, our top leg is going to come out and straight. We're going to be drawing circles, little circles one way for 20 seconds. Second 20 seconds, we're going to reverse them. All right, so I want you to keep that really nice and controlled though. Again, hips staying facing forward. Off we go, little circles. Really point the toes, straighten the leg. And sometimes the smaller you go, the more you'll feel the outside of that hip working. Ooh. Just breathing. Let's reverse the direction. We are so close, you're nearly there now. So well done, hold on, stay with me. We've got this beautiful full body workout, touching on everything. So let's move into the inner thighs next. From here, have a break. Your top foot's gonna come down to the mat in front. We're going to be working that bottom leg. So flexing your right foot, your bottom leg. We're going to be pulsing up and down with that leg. In a moment, take your break. Have a breath first. All right, off we go. So if you can, you could touch down that inner thigh just to kind of associate that area with your mind. If you can, really trying to focus on that lift of the leg coming from the inner thigh. We're just going up and down, up and down. And for our second lot of 20 seconds here, we're going to pulse at the top. So keep it up and lower it just a couple of centimetres down and up and down and up and down. Beautiful. We've got 10 more seconds. Foot is flexed, leg is long. Ooh, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. We're going to take those three exercises to the other side. So gently make your way up. We'll just roll over. I'm going to stay facing you. So coming to clams first, knees bent, heels together, feet flexed, heels pressing together if you want to add that little extra spice. And off we go. Top knee opens and closes. I'd love to hear how you're going, how far along you might be in your pregnancy. But this is definitely the kind of workout that I would enjoy doing if I wasn't pregnant as well. So just grateful to have you all here. As always, if you have any other suggestions of videos that you'd like, please leave a comment. All right, we've got five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest, bottom knee bent, top leg straight. We're moving into those little circles. Two more exercises, so less than two minutes to go. All right, again, remember the smaller the circle, sometimes you'll more feel, sometimes the greater that you'll feel the exercise. So off we go. Top hand can be down for support in front as well. I'm really feeling the outer edges of those glutes. 
So like the tip of your toe, the tip of your big toe is like a little paintbrush and you're painting round and round in a circle and change directions. Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. The kookaburras are laughing at me. They're like, what are you doing? You are crazy. <laughs> it's way too hot to be doing that. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so coming to that inner thigh work to finish off, top foot comes down in front. You might even get a little bit of a glute stretch here. Bottom leg is out long. First 20 seconds, it's a lift and a lower. Second 20 seconds, it's a pulse at the top. Last exercise, off we go. Three, two, one. Woo. Beautiful. Remember that foot is flexed, so heel pressing out, toes drawing back. We are so close now. Let's take those pulses at the top. Beautiful. So just a couple centimeters. Keep the leg as high as you can. We've got 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, ah! four, three, two, one, rest. Well done, gently make your way up to seated. Beautiful, just crossing the legs here for a moment. Take the hands down onto the knees. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Let's just take three deep breaths together. Closing the eyes if you like. Just deep breath in through the nose. And out. And two more in your own time. Last big breath in. And out. Beautiful. Gently opening your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have left two videos here, which might be a beautiful short cool down for you here to have a nice stretch through your hips. Otherwise, take a few moments just to relax, just to cool down, slow down the breath. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I hope to see you again soon. All my love. Bye-bye.